Mm. The snake, mm -hmm. they was living around here. And there were snakes here? Yes. Okay. The biggest uh -huh. snake, it was a big one. Okay. And it was killing a like lot it. of people. Like and when they came here, mm -hmm. they saw a lot of bones. I'm talking about carcass of people. Yeah, of dead. people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they say, but it's true. Really, it's true. Mm. The Portuguese, they did this statue in memory of the lady. But the lady, <laughs> she was a black lady. Oh. But here she coming like a white lady. What? All right, guys, top of the morning. Kish my world. Welcome to a brand new day, brand new video. Here from uh, Maputo, Mozambique, the capital of Mozambique, French speaking, no, uh, it's Portuguese speaking country. And uh, I'm in the real streets down here, downtown, walking around, seeing the areas. Yes, and all these things, just to see the vibe, but let's, you know, fish my world. That is how we do. So let's walk downtown the streets, and I want to go to the main railway station somewhere down here to see how everything goes, you know, to see how the thing goes. See, people are busy in the streets here of uh, Mozambique doing their things direct and live, you know. Fish my world, <laughs> yeah. Fancy ladies here, okay. I want to go and see the railway station and a huge statue that's over there. Try to find out Wagwan, you know, in this place. A lot of people don't speak English, but it's all good. We're gonna maneuver our way until we get to our destination of choice. Fish my world. Yes, man. And this is the public buses here going to Baya, you know, bus station. People are really working hard, businessmen, business people, you know. This is a small walking tour of Maputo, Mozambique. Yeah, it's really busy on the streets, like you can't just uh, walk straight on the streets. You know, in a country like Nairobi, it's not really allowed to have so many business, small businesses like this. They're called hawkers, they're not allowed. They usually have like stalls where they go and they stay. But here in Mozambique, it looks as if it's just a normal thing. You know, every country is different. So if you want some socks, some food, whatever you need, it's available here. So let's cross over and see the other side. And this is the most amazing bridge that they talk about, you know, the longest, suspension bridge in Africa all the way you know very very nice I was in that bridge yesterday and it's super super long yeah man oh and there's a statue figure on the other side of the road <laughs> yeah this is not a statue but it's a real person you know yes so guys this is the bridge connecting Maputo to the other side and here, here is the statue figure <laughs> yeah very interesting you can think it's a real, it's the real deal. Anyways, guys, yalla, let's go and uh, experience uh, Maputo in a big way. This is uh, my first time to come in this side of the, you know, of the of the continent, and uh, Mozambique is very very long because it extends all the way to the border with Tanzania, and between Tanzania. And Kenya, that's the only difference from where I am. Okay. Yalla, let's go! And if you see, you can notice there's a lot of like Portuguese influence, you know? A lot of, a lot of Portuguese influence everywhere. The buildings, the architecture, it was derived from the Portuguese days. Those days when they were living here. And the funny fact is yesterday, as I was uh, actually walking towards the beachfront, I met a guy, an ex-military, and we were talking with him off camera, and he told me that, you know, he's a bit, he's like 78 years old, he told me that when the Portuguese were forced to leave the country in 1975, the buildings and the houses where they were staying at, they were told, just grab what you can, because nobody's going to be living there, because the Portuguese have gone. So he had a really, really nice house. He didn't, it's not really well taken care of, but you could say, like when the Portuguese were living there, it was really well done, really well taken care of. It was an amazing structure. So it's very funny that uh, that happened, that people were actually told, you know what, take whatever you want, live there, it's yours. And he had a huge house. So yeah, you can see all this is like so much like a Portuguese infrastructure here by the train station. Yeah, I'm just taking a stroll and hopefully I can get to understand exactly what this monument here is who this lady is if you know who this lady is comment down below 
and uh, let me know kish my wall i'm very very curious to find out who it is the other night we were in this train station over here uh, during the night time to see where they go but i didn't really understand where it goes but uh, nobody told me about this lady over here and it's funny in portugal there isn't a lot of like uh, tour guides you know in most countries whenever you're walking near these uh, big ornaments and these structures there's always tour guides trying to make a quick buck i've realized here in mozambique it's very different so yeah this is it and uh, they wrote everything in uh, portuguese so i can't really tell who this woman is but it says aos suez combat combatenes europeus africanos da grande guerra guys if you know portuguese kindly you know let's see if we can ask somebody about this place about this lady or this woman you know yeah there's a police officer there maybe i should ask her let me see if i can ask the police officer maybe she can help uh, explain for us and guys this is the railway station also looking very nice and magnificent and lovely and beautiful but uh, it is an old one i think because it looks like a portuguese influence but the trains are really good oh yeah i also asked somebody i wanted to take the train maybe to go to zimbabwe and they said don't you dare because if you take that train it might even take two or three days it's like it goes very very slowly okay i wanted to ask this police woman and she's walking away looking for trouble because police don't like being on camera anyways let me see if she can speak to my camera ah now she's running away okay no problem no Allah I wanted to go and <laughs> try my luck with a cop let's see if there's anybody else who can speak English my friend you speak English yes I'm a bit, little bit I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, not very well, not very well. Yeah. What is, who is this woman here who we'll speaks English? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that was funny. He just uh, up and ran away from me. Okay, hopefully he'll call me somebody who can speak the language, and then we can understand what this thing is. Kish my world. Okay. Otherwise, the bridge there. If you look at the bridge, I don't know if it's visible. It says Katambe on that side and it says maputo on this other side so when you're going this way you're going to katambe this is the bridge that links up maputo where we are right now to katambe which is the other side of uh, the other side of the lake of the of the you know the, the indian ocean but it's not an island it just curves around yeah guys so uh, if we don't get information about this woman here we're just gonna go continue with our walking tour to in the rest of the city center kish my world okay. i guess i have to rely on you to tell me what that statue is because i can't find any information from the masses but uh, we can't, we're gonna continue with our walking tour uh, people are a bit afraid to speak english or maybe they don't know they don't speak the language so let's just go and uh, enjoy this city as we walk down and enjoy the architecture of here it's a very calm city i've realized not really much to do not many people making noises i was living here in the city center like okay somebody's he's calling me okay i think maybe we're gonna get a definition of exactly what's here but i was saying i was living here in the city center and even i was asking them like is there like nightlife or something and they were like yeah there's a huge nightlife but only in the weekends during the weekday there's nothing happening so you cannot get like uh, parties or anything you know <laughs> anyways let me go and get info from this guy hopefully he won't charge me because i just finished all all my cash that's the other problem with some people help you and they demand they expect a handout you know yeah but let's see okay this one yeah okay cool hello yeah my friend hi 
how are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm also fine. Guys. Yes. Yeah. I was just asking him what this, uh, who this woman here is, because oh, I'm very curious to know. This, this and this statue are two stories. Yeah. Uh, around the statue is about uh, European when they was still colonize our our continent. Yeah. Oh, uh, this and, uh, Mozambique. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm talking about Africa. Oh, Africa as a whole. Yes, Africa. Okay. Yeah. So the African they was already tired to be colonized by Europe. By Europeans in general. So yeah. what is mean? Yeah. Only the statue is like a, to chase away the the European from Africa to outside because we're already tired about to, about uh, their colon. Yes. Home. Yes. So the statue is an other story. Yeah. Yeah, the, the statues. What's happening here? This yeah. place, no one was living. It, it was, was empty. A forest. Okay. And there was here a narrow way used by fishermen to go to the sea just to fishing. Okay. And uh, when, when they was using the same way, mm. the snake, mm -hmm. they was living around here. And there were snakes here. Yes. Okay. The biggest uh -huh. snake. It was big one. Okay. And it was killing a like, lot of people. Like these ones here. Yeah. yeah. It was killing a lot of people. Yeah. So the black people always they was going to the Portuguese to complain about this situation that yeah. we are killed by snake. Please help us. Maybe you can succeed to kill that snake. Yeah. So the Portuguese, you know, we are black. They were saying, ah, forget about this place. Yeah. <laughs> So, but later on, they pay attention in this situation to see ah, always these people are coming to complain yeah. what's happening. Let us go and see what's happening there. Okay. And when they came here, mm -hmm. they saw a lot of bones. I'm talking about carcass of people. Yeah, of they, people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they say, but it's true. Really, it's true. Mm. So, they tried to look for a that is naked to kill using guns. Mm -hmm. They didn't even succeed the Portuguese. Oh, wow. So, that lady, yeah. she went to the Portuguese government to say that she was able to kill this snake. Okay. And they push you, they say, how will you do because you are a lady? She said, I know. Is she black or is she white? She was a black lady. She was a black but lady. She, they made it like a white lady. Yeah, it looks like a white lady. Yes, yeah. Okay. So, but she was a black lady. She was a black lady. Uh -huh. So, uh, when the Portuguese, that lady, when she went to the Portuguese to say that she was able to kill the snake, mm. the Portuguese, they said, we want to see it. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, she cooked a hot porridge. Porridge yeah. made by maize. Yeah. Yeah. Hot porridge, but hot one. Yeah. We have a kind of pot, African pot made by sand. Okay. Yeah. It's a type of pot, yeah, but yeah. African one. Yes, like a, yeah. And she used it the same kind of pot to bury the porridge. And uh, she carried it in the, in the head. Yeah. And she passed it from the same narrow way going to the sea. Mm -hmm. Like she's going to the sea. So the snake became prepared because the snake was already so the lady that yeah. the lady she's coming. So to became attack. prepared just to attack. Yeah. And the lady which she passed down of the tree, the snake was up of the tree and she passed from down of the tree. And the snake when it was going to bite the lady, mm. introduced the head inside the hot porridge. Ah. And she threw it away. Yeah. And when the snake was trying trying just to overpower the situation. It became again with the hot porridge like inside this. more and yeah, more. Yeah, and okay. It, that's why. So the Portuguese they did this statue in memory of the lady. But the lady <laughs> she was a black lady. Oh. But here she coming like a white lady. Wow, interesting. Yeah. So now the, that, that snake there symbolizes the snake that she killed. Yes. And this is the lady who looks very fierce. Yes. Okay. And now this who are these here? The Portuguese or who are these yeah, people? Portuguese they are saying. Os seus combatentes europeus e africanos da grande guerra, da grande yeah. guerra, da se africana e da europeia, yeah. of the big war. I'm talking about the first and the second world war. Okay. Because we didn't even participate directly. <laughs> yes. But some of African they have been in the first and the second world war. Okay. But Africa, all of Africa. Yeah. We, we 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 didn't participate on the first world. No, no, we didn't. No. Yeah. yeah. But some of African they have been there. They have been there. Yeah, since about that. Okay. Wow, amazing. If you want to visit the station, also I mean the station guide also. Oh, you're a station guide. Yeah, station. We have a station museum also to visit. Okay. Yeah. But this one, uh, it was built by the Portuguese themselves by Portuguese, later on. Course, yes, by Portuguese. Okay. And all of this is stone. Yeah. The stone, the one they use it. Yeah. Coming from Portugal. Oh, from Portugal. Directly from Portugal. Okay, so it's not from here. You know, it's not from. Here. Ah, wow. Yeah, we are five countries in Africa speaking Portuguese. Yes, yes, yeah, Mozambique, Angola, Angola. Mozambique, Cabo Verde, uh, Guinea Bissau, yeah. and the Santo Tome Prince. We are five countries. Yes, yes. Colonized. Yeah, yeah, it's like a Spanish also. It's one country in Africa. That, that speaks Spanish. Yes, we, which have, is... we have three Guineas. Yeah, yeah. So Guinea Bissau. Bissau Portuguese, uh -huh. Conakry is French, uh -huh. and the Guinea, Equatorial Guinea, yeah. Equatorial Guinea is French, it's, it's Spanish. It's, Spanish. it's okay. a unique country colonized by Spain in, in Africa. Yeah, yes. wow. 
Very interesting. Have part. you seen oh, yeah. one of the famous movies, the ones called Blood Diamond? You're not yes, I've seen Blood Diamond. Do yeah. you know that they shoot in this station? Oh, really? Oh, you, hey. in this very station. I can show you. If you want. <laughs> wow. Yeah, if you want to visit this station, we can go. No, what we can do, because I know you, you're a tour guide. Yes. Okay, because By you see. Oh, okay, because you seem very informative about the, the entire tours. Mm -hmm. How about we make like an appointment? So that does do it, a proper does tour. It matter, does it matter? You can take my phone number. Yeah, because I feel you're informed, you're informed and you speak very well, very well English. Okay, let me take your number. Wow, guys, wow. What an uh, informative, you know, story about the statue. At least we got some uh, news about it instead of just uh, wondering what it was. So that was really nice to hear, you know, Kish my world. So the lady now, we know why she's here and what she's all about. Yeah, she's a warrior who killed the snake but uh, of course i feel like it's a myth i, <laughs> I don't know if it's uh, a real thing but it's good to have the mythologies so guys what do you think oh, of yeah. the story was it well, yeah. uh, what you expected the lady who she they expected her to be and uh, if it's true at all then why did the portuguese have to make her white because that image is the image of a white woman it's not the image of a black woman so yeah, they just wanted to take all the glory themselves also, I guess. All right, anyways, guys, traffic now is building up over here. So let's go to the other side of the city. And then uh, we circle back as we wind up the video. Fish my wall and we see if we can get anything interesting. You see, as you can see, the buildings are really, really like old buildings. It feels like it's an old town over here. And all of these were built by the Portuguese people. That is it. Okay. Yalla, let's continue and see what's happening ahead here. Wow, guys, I was uh, something interesting. I was interested. I saw this building here, which looks very, very beautiful, you know. And uh, it says twin, twin far, na diferencia. I don't know what it means, but this girl looks like she's albino. So probably it means something to do with. Uh, you know like the albino people are different but probably it's like to accept them i don't know do you guys know what it means in this area called the mesquita i have no idea but it was interesting to see this building but now this is not the most interesting thing about it the most interesting thing about here because this building drew my attention and i wanted to come and just know what it is from this side but as i was walking this way i actually found uh, realized that this is not a normal street there is some it's like a red light district over here because as i was walking down this way there were some girls on the side of the road who were stopping me and uh, offering <laughs> sexual services yeah i actually did realize that uh, it's a red light district so they are like working even now during the day for like you know you pay they told me they charge 500 for a they were like massage you want massage i'm like oh massage okay then it's like not just massage everything for 500 and i'm like oh shit yeah anyways this is like the fruit section but that, that was surprising to see that this area actually is also in itself some type of a red light district so let me stop filming because they are in front of me there just for the integrity yeah man as you move on yeah guys so today's video won't be so long yes i just wanted to show you a small view a small brief of the capital here of maputo capital of mozambique how life is you know everyday life everything good everything fresh it's such a coastal vibe you know feels like the kenyan coast the vibes that i get from here you know so the walking tour is coming to an end yeah <laughs> Yes, uh, but here it feels as if it's very, uh, you know, very Portuguese times type of buildings, you know. So, anyways, guys, kiss my wall. Let me finish off today's video. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think about the statue that we learned about and uh, about Mozambique, Maputo in general. See you in the next one. Kiss my wall.